Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome back to Learning Boards. This is third video of our series where we are building business inquiry chatbot that will be on the WhatsApp platform. Until now, we have created intents.json which holds all our data, the tags, the user query patterns and the response we want to give and took help of some ML libraries, machine learning libraries like NLTK and TensorFlow to train our model. From the training, we saved model, tokenizer, maximum sequence length, and we already had intents.json. We used all of these saved entities to create our chatbot. And in the last video, we saw how we extracted the stem sentences and got the response from the user query. Now, in this video, we will try to take the conversation with our chatbot on the WhatsApp platform. And Twilio.com is a very good site and it is very efficient in doing all this work on WhatsApp. Let's quickly jump to Twilio.com. On this site, let's log in if we already have an account or let's sign up. Once we complete the registration process, this will be our dashboard. We have to go to Programmable Messaging, then Settings. After this, WhatsApp Sandbox Settings. Just a quick note here, while registering, Twilio may ask you to send a code to a number using which you can connect to the service. So if you send this code to this number, you will be able to communicate with this number. And once you are able to communicate with this, it means that you are a part of sandbox and this is your sandbox settings. So why we are on this page is, if we see here, it says when a message comes in. Let's say if you send a message hi to this number. If there is no website given here, it will give the default reply or else if we provide any custom URL here or the web application, it will direct the message to this site. So our goal is to create an online web application that will take the messages from the WhatsApp or basically what we send to this number will be redirected to this web application and the web application will be used to give reply. Now. Let's see how we can use Twilio Sandbox and Flask to create a web application and receive messages on our application. Twilio provides some tutorials that may help us using this. I will try to provide the link in the description or in the documents. Here we can see it gives us tutorial for send a message. Also it tells us how to receive and reply with incoming messages. So we are going to use this block of code in our program. For this, let's go ahead and install Flask and Twilio. Moving on to the console, let's use pip install flask to install flask. After installing flask, let's install Twilio. Once we have successfully installed Twilio, we will use the tutorial given by Twilio in our code. But before that, let's have a look at the code. In this code, we can see it is replying a media message but we don't need any media to reply to so we will do some changes in the code and use it for our purpose we will try to include the code in our chatting.py file and the modified block of code will look something like this let me walk you through first of all we will import flask and its libraries then we will use twilio to import messaging response library and then we will use a basic functionality of Flask to create a very basic web application for us. So we will provide two routes for our app. The one route will be for the home page and we will provide a string welcome to WhatsApp chatbot for businesses that will be our home page and we will provide a second route with slash port which will have both get and post method because we will receive messages and we will also post messages. So we will define a method as reply chatbot. Whenever we are sending a message to our WhatsApp, we are posting a message on WhatsApp. So taking that concept, we will get the body of whatever we are sending using the request from Flask and we will try to keep it in a message variable. After this, we will instantiate an object of our class chatbot and we will provide intents model tokenizer and maximum length as initialization. And if we go back, we remember that 
this generate response method is sufficient to provide a response for our chatbot so we will use this method to get a response now we have received message from whatsapp to our api and we have used that to provide response now let's reply it back on the whatsapp platform so for that we will initialize a object of messaging response class and we will use response.message to send back our bot response that we got from the generate response method and at the end we will return the string of response so this is how our flask application will look like now we need to run our flask application for that we will use app.run but in the last video we tried to check our chatbot using the chatbot class and we instantiated here in the main body so either we can comment this out or we can delete it let me comment it out okay so now let's try to run our application so we can see that our flask web application is running on this ip address and this is present on local machine let's see how it looks if we run this in our browser it will give welcome to the whatsapp chatbot for businesses hence our application is running now the problem arises that this is running in our local machine and we want to run it globally or online to interact with our chatbot on whatsapp for that purpose we use ngrok ngrok is basically a service that provides a temporary web application that is available online and we can use it for our project let's go to browser and download it if we go to ngrok.com slash download we can download it for our machine we will have to extract the zip file and install it usually it is installed in program files x86 in our windows machine once we have installed it we will use cmd or the command prompt to use it i have already changed the directory to the program files now let's see how the ngrok will work if we type ngrok http and our port number our port number is basically where our web application or the flask web application is running if we see here we can see our port number is 5000 so let's use this ngrok http 5000 it will forward our port that is running on local machine to an online web application and we can use this to test our chatbot if we take this address and put it in our sandbox console and don't forget to put slash bot so that our api is complete and we can directly interact with our chatbot on whatsapp let's save it once this is saved let's open our whatsapp and check if it is running here if i say hi it says hi there what can i do for you let's ask what is the fees it replies the fees is 1000 rupees per month if we say thanks it says my pleasure so that proves our model is working or our program is working we can now interact with our chatbot simultaneously with this we come towards the end of our video with one problem remaining that is deploy the project or the code online so that it can run for 24 7 and we are going to use heroku for it we will see how to deploy using heroku in the next video so quickly recapping what we did in this video so first of all we created a twilio account we installed flask and twilio we used the tutorial given from twilio which uses flask to make our application we ran it and it was running on our local machine we used ngrok to give a temporary online id for our api and after that we were finally able to interact with our chatbot on whatsapp so in the next video we will see how to deploy it online for 24 7 availability using heroku so stay tuned for our next video don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow me and support me we will meet in the next video until then adios